G'day, Alex Moss here, and welcome to another Tactical Arbitrage training video. In this video, we're going to have a look at the single product control buttons. So, it's essentially this column here, and these icons here. What do these icons here signify? Now, don't be uh, too confused by it all. They're fairly simple. The first one is essentially a checkbox. We can select multiple checkboxes, or we can deselect checkboxes. And those checkboxes that we have selected or deselected, we will in a later video show how we can apply actions to these selected items. But essentially that is what this first button here, it is a checkbox. The second, uh, the second icon here is very interesting, it is a little greyed out heart. Now selecting this little greyed out heart will make this into a little red heart. And at the top here it'll say success. This product was saved to your saved data list or saved data folders. Now, the saved data room, which we'll be getting to in a later video again, um, is a nice place for you to save anything that you're particularly interested in uh, tracking, in uh, coming back to and buying later, in uh, perhaps you've got a virtual assistant who's working for you and he, they are finding items for you that they may uh, that you may be interested in buying. They can be saving um, saving these products into a folder for you as well. And essentially that is what this little heart does. Now when, uh, when that heart is red, alongside it will appear a little folder. Now clicking on this little folder is going to show me exactly where this item is searched. Now by default, everything is put into the main folder search. Now if I was to change this little setting up here, to advanced import and then if I select save data this item is going to be saved into the advanced import folder for the most part you'll save items which will go into a main folder and the main folder is the folder that you will go into when you very first visit your save list. So immediately this is taking us to save list main folder. If I go back to the view data now. Uh, you'll notice that the item I saved before in the main folder, it actually shows us there. Now I can also click on this, which will open in another menu, the saved folder as well. I'll just 11 out, F11 out, so I've got back to my view data, F11 back in again, so I go full screen. And uh, that leaves us with two more icons here. The first one is simple. It doesn't update all on the entire row. So, for instance, uh, this item here, it is $29.99 at the source. It is $51 at Amazon, as per the time it was added to here. So let me just have a look here. If I do a refresh, we have no change um, in the buy price, but it does appear that this is now only $42 at Amazon. This in accordance affects my return after fees, my gross profit, and so on. So that is an update individually row. The next row is delete row. So we're going to delete this product here by hitting delete and this is going to disappear from our sheet just like that with a little notification at the top. Or if there is an item that is completely not a match and we can tell that it is 100% guaranteed not the same item, for instance, this is not a match. Even though the uh, oh, there is no UPC match either. so. We've got this Wonder Woman item here, and we can see this is a bundle, a Wonder Woman Harley Quinn bundle. So this is not a match. So we can go delete product, mark as a mismatch. This product was marked as a mismatch, and once again it is removed. Now in a later video we'll have a look at the mismatch room where you can have a look at where you can check out all these items that have been marked as mismatches and possibly match some up yourself and find some gold. So that is the single product control buttons. And uh, now we'll move on to the 
uh, next video, which will be quantity editing.